always enjoyed dancing in a social sense throughout my whole life. And then um, I also grew up going to Renaissance fairs and always wanting to learn like, oh my gosh, the belly dancers are so cool. Um, and then one day someone was like, you know, they have a belly dance club on campus, you should go. My name is Danny Hall. I am a senior here at UW Platteville studying Spanish with a minor in psychology. And I am also a belly dancer. Ha! And I'm not even doing like a really good shimmy, I'm more like convulsing. Five, six, seven, and. Girl, I don't even know your name. Oh. We practice in Dowdna 147 two nights a week. So we just kind of like push all the desks aside and practice in the middle of the room. Last spring, I went to a tribal belly dance convention called Tribal Con in Atlanta, Georgia, in which there was a uh, instructor named Pini Orkadasi. At the end of the week, she said to me, like, I like you, you work hard, you should apply to come to my dance intensive in Portugal. And my first thought was like, uh, yeah, no, I can't go to Portugal, I'm sorry. And But I applied anyway, just like, to see if I got in. Um, and I did get in, and then I figured, oh, I can't not go to Portugal. <laughs> so um, I decided to fly all the way to Lisbon, Portugal this uh, September. All I did was sleep, eat, dance, that's it. I would wake up in the morning and I would go to the studio and I would be there for eight hours throughout the day. Um, and then I would come home and I would stretch and complain about how sore I was with my roommates. I stayed in a flat with a bunch of other dancers from the, the dance intensive. And throughout the week there were other activities like we got together with everyone in the evening one night and um, talked about different dance styles and where they came from and learned so much and there was like classroom based watching videos and learning about origins and things like that but for the most part once the dance intensive started I did nothing but eat sleep and dance <laughs> and it was incredible. As far as performing as a belly dancer goes everyone like everyone asks like how do you get gigs as that kind of dance and it's just you know a lot of people who do a lot of weird, obscure events, and then they ask you, like, oh, could you perform at this one? Um, and I always say yes. <laughs> In the past, I've performed at a World War I reenactment, which was by far my favorite gig I've ever done. Um, TeslaCon, which is a big steampunk convention in Madison. I perform in the summers at the Bristol Renaissance Fair in Kenosha. No weird people and they'll hire you. If I didn't come to UW Platteville, then I definitely wouldn't be who I am today. Like if I were at a different school, I wouldn't have found belly dance, I'm sure. Or maybe if I had, it wouldn't have been such a welcoming group that was willing to teach me. Um, and I wouldn't have met the people, I wouldn't have met the people like Shayna who have introduced me to so many opportunities, like so many performance opportunities, I wouldn't have met my incredible significant other now who, you know, was the one who invited me to belly dance in the first place. Um, I wouldn't have met my amazing advisor now who is just as supportive of me dancing as me speaking Spanish. Um, so the, the atmosphere here and the people here is what really has made me who I am today and helped me find who I want to be in the future.